it really does something to you. Uh, it's short acting, so you get more than one injection. But now, uh, if if I remember right, it's a form of LSD, and they have to inject it constantly to make it work. Do you remember any of that? I do. I do. I didn't know that it was a form of LSD, um, but I knew that it was hypnotic because I'll tell you, I'll tell you what happened was, that, and, it, and it shocked me. Uh, the first question he asked me, he, he, he goes through this, he says, now you and Sergeant Tobias went on a little camping trip, didn't you? And I said, yes, Brad. And he says, my, that must have been exciting. And I said, yes, Brad. And he said, and you saw some funny lights in the sky, didn't you? I said, yes. And he says, but they weren't funny lights, were they, Terry? And I said, no. And he says, you know who they are, Terry. Tell me who they are. And I said, they're the space people. And I could not believe that came out of my mouth. I I was dumbfounded. I mean, I'm thinking, oh, my God, where does this... Where does this come from? And whatever drug they gave me, in my mind's eye, I'm, I'm seeing a replay of this like a movie in my head. And I'm watching this. And that's where a lot of these memories, uh, they dragged up from my subconscious. Now, i got to ask you a question, Terry, because we're almost out of time. we got like about four minutes left, and then I'm going to talk about your book. Uh, you, have you had flashbacks after that? Because sodium pentothal and what you they gave you all will cause to have flashbacks. Did you have that after that injection? Like for, I do to this day. Yeah. Um, I call them intrusive thoughts. I've been tested twice for PTSD and diagnosed positive for PTSD. Um, and they why. say PTSD etiology unknown. Uh, unknown traumatic event. Well, you was uh, you, you were abducted. You were tortured, probably, and then you you think your own military would you know? And then they basically, uh, I'll be honest with you, when they give you sodium pentothal or any of these mind altering, you know, uh, hallucinatory type of drugs, that I mean, you don't know. You have no willpower. They can ask you anything, and you're going to answer it. And and, th- yes. that, and I tell you, that is enough where I know from research, it will affect you for the rest of your life. You'll get flashbacks, mainly so much afterwards uh, for a while. It'll come. You'll, you'll be, you know, like going to sleep at night and all of a sudden you have these flashbacks, scary, scary stuff that they, they put you through. I, you I, know, I'll, be, I'll be reading a book, Gary, and I'll be in the middle of, of a paragraph and I'm reading a book. And suddenly these images will pop into my head and I got no control over it. No, you won't. Yeah. Yeah, I, I will say this. I had one of my younger years, uh, one of my friends did something really bad and I ratted him out. And just to prove I wasn't involved with it, I had to go in and give a lie detector test. Plus, I said, OK, they, I said, anything else you want? They said, you want sodium pentothal? I didn't know what it was. And they gave me sodium pentothal. I had flashbacks for years from it. Uh, if wow. I if I known I ever had it, I would have never would have done it because I tell you what, you you'd be it could hit you anytime. And now the flashback could be very short or it could be long, but I, it really messes your life. So I know what you've gone through. They should have. It's not right. You didn't do anything wrong. And, and and what they were just trying to do is pump you for as much information about your encounter, uh, what the aliens look like, what they were trying to do to you, and all this stuff. And, and to suck and they you. They didn't have any pictures. Yeah, and they just wanted to suck your brain on it to get as much information. Now I'm sorry I have to jump into this because our time is up. Tell us about where they can find your book and all this stuff, Terry. Sure. Thanks. Um, yeah, the book is Incident at Devil's Den. It's on Amazon, and it's uh, there's a Kindle version that's just a couple of bucks, and then there's a uh, paperback that has uh, X-rays of my leg uh, with the uh, showing the, the, the things that are in it, 
Implant. And uh, the implants. And uh, um, I also have an audio book that's, that's really good if, if you like to listen to something in the car or in the truck. Uh, the audio book is, uh, is real popular. Um, I had the choice. They, they told me, you know, well, you, you should hire a voice artist. And I said, no, no way. I, you know, I, I, this is my story. I want to tell it. And I did it in my own voice for better or worse. I mean, I don't have a great radio voice, but, um, so it's, it, it's in my own words, uh, but it's the entire book, uh, in audio form. So yeah, just go to incident at devil's den on Amazon and you'll find it. Now this, if I remember right, is affected you so much. You still have a loaded gun, a flashlight at bed at night. Cause you're worried about being abducted. Am I right? You're right. Yeah, you're it, right. I I just got a 380 within reach right now, and I, I since 1978 I carried a gun with me. Uh, you know, and I I don't know if it would do any good. I don't think it would do any good at all. But I felt like you know these guys got the drop on me once. You know, I I want to do everything I can to protect myself. Uh, that that's uh, the whole thing is I don't think a gun would do any good, but it's called. Well, self security, emotional uh, security. But I will tell you, I through the years of being on radio and interviewing people, Terry, what you have said tonight and what you said before on the shows, what you went through, I mean, you have the best details of anybody. I've been mean, going camping, seeing those triangle lights, going over, finally going over ahead, and then you know, hearing the noise of the craft seeing the children, which turned out to be aliens, uh, being taken aboard, hearing screams, being naked, seeing other people naked, seeing what something looked like puppies in, in, in tubes, and like aquariums, let alone tubes that were probably getting ready for some humans. You were damn lucky that you and your friend were returned. Cause from what you're saying, I think a lot of people weren't returned. I, I, I you think... Know- that's the scary it part. It haunts me to this day. It haunts my sleep. What happened to those 20 souls that we saw that were in that ship? Because they kicked us out. But those, those, those poor people, they went up. I mean, they went, they took them away. Well, either they were so, for stock for breeding or stock for eating. I hate to say either way. Uh, that's the, the scary part because we don't know what's going on. And people need to really open their eyes up. There's more than what we think about going uh, on with these abductions. They're not here giving us fuzzy, you know, orbs and saying we're here to protect mankind. I don't think they're here for that. You need to get Terry Lovelace's book. You need to go on Amazon, order it tonight or tomorrow, get it, read it, and I tell you, you're going to have a hard time sleeping. Terry, I want to thank you for coming on again and, you know, we did touch on a couple of things. I know every time you do one of these shows, you probably have trouble sleeping at night. But I want oh, to thank you for sharing it. Well, I want to thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to reach out to your listeners, and I, I hope they enjoy the story of my misfortune. Yeah. Well, Terry, keep in touch, please, will you? I will. I will. Okay, my friend. I you, an email. you, you, uh, ha- you have a great new year, okay? You too. Happy New Year to everyone. Take care, my friend. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Well, James, our time is like up. Tomorrow we're going to be talking again about, well, UFOs and stuff like that. And then a little bit later this week, we'll be talking about UFOs. James, you have a good one. And you know what? I'm going to have trouble sleeping tonight. Oh, I know. I will talk to you tomorrow, my friend. Okay. You take care. Bye-bye. And I drove his motorcycle very fast Drove a big chop pilot with a gang color jacket And I ran down citizens for laughs He had an old lady named Petula 